What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So a brand new celebration is beginning on JP and there's a lot of crazy and exciting stuff going down in the next couple of days. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly mention that you guys might have noticed that I have a fresh new layout for this video. It was made for me by Emmanuel on Twitter. So make sure you guys go check him out. This guy is mad talented and does some amazing work. So if you guys need any graphics design done for you, this man will hook you up. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the news, guys. And I did want to say that I am using Goresh's post on the Reddit as reference. So thank you very much to Goresh for the translations because none of this would be possible without you. So <laughs> on the top here, pretty much says, Exciting Full Throttle, which apparently is the name of the celebration. The Super Growth Campaign is underway. Uh, on March 8th, Dokkan will have been released for 1,500 days, guys. 1,500 days. Yo, it felt like just yesterday we hit 1,000 days, and now we're halfway to 2,000, which is absolutely insane. Well, I mean, technically three quarters, but halfway from the second thousand. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, uh, 1,500 days. Therefore, expect to receive a special present on March 8th. So, JP players, something crazy is happening on the 8th. I don't know what it's going to be, I don't think anybody knows, but it's going to be big, so stay tuned for that. Let's play Dokkan Battle with Mischief and Playfulness, okay, uh, so there's the 1500 days right there. So at the very top, number one is Exciting Full Throttle, the Super Growth Campaign Login Bonus. So Dragonstones, you know, Hercule Statues, Kai's, Training Items, all that good stuff. Number two is Exciting Full Throttle Super Growth Missions. So of course, as always, there's going to be missions for celebrations. <laughs> Nothing too crazy there. I'm not really sure what the details of those missions are, but if you guys need translations, there's the subreddit, Deep Sea Space, or other great Dokkan YouTubers like Talon who can actually read Japanese. So make sure to go check him out. But moving on, we got number three. This one's really, really big. A new Dokkan Fest exclusive. Kid Goku, new SSR Goku Youth blasts onto the scene. I believe it was confirmed he was going to be AGL, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not really too informed on what he does either. I don't know if that information came out yet, but at the time of this filming, as far as I know, there's no info on him, but you guys will find out soon enough because he does drop tomorrow. So that's coming up. Number four, Category Gotcha. <laughs> so originally, People are calling it the little boys and girls category, but that's a little suspect in my opinion, so we're gonna stay completely away from that. Instead, we'll go with either the juvenile category, which is what Goresh calls it, or young warriors. Either one works for me, so that's the category summon for them. And uh, obviously, these three units are good, especially the Bula with that new support passive when she awakens, but I, I don't know, I still feel weird telling people to summon on a category banner, so I would say skip but it's up to you. Uh, number five, this is the new Dokkan event for the kid Goku, and I'm pretty sure his super attack is gonna be, you know, he's gonna be punching through whoever uh, he's fighting, just like what he did to Piccolo, so that's gonna be pretty dope. I can't wait to see the super attacks. Maybe they're already out because I'm filming right now, so I can't check YouTube, but uh, if not, then stay tuned. It should be out very soon. Now, this is the third part of the Dragon Ball event with the kid Goku that awakens into an LR, and we can finally token awaken him into an LR with this event. Now, I know some people are a little bit upset that it's Goku and Arale as opposed to, you know, Krillin and Roshi or whatever because people want to see more Krillin, right? Krillin was finally going to get an LR and then he got taken out for the actual LR Awakening. But the way they did it is that they went by the Dragon Ball movie. So in the first movie, it was this Goku. In the second movie, it was the kid Goku and Krillin. And then in the third movie, the cover was Goku and Arale. So I kind of understand what they're trying to do. Obviously, I would have wanted an LR Krillin as well, but you know what? Maybe one of these days we'll get a Krillin by himself as an LR, or maybe an LR Krillin in 18. I don't really know. Anything's possible. One can dream, right? So anyways, we got this new event. The Goku will finally become an LR, which is extra exciting. And they're also bringing back the older Dragon Ball events too, so we can get a chance to farm his medals, farm his dupes if you slacked in the past. And also, we can collect some blood rubies and all that stuff. Now, number nine is the return of the Raditz event. And you guys know what that means. Every time the Int Raditz event returns, we're getting a world tournament. So world tournament coming very soon. I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom there. Uh, number 10 is the return of the Videl Learns to Fly event. So that's cool. 
And uh, big news here, guys. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they don't show the event notice first, but here we have the Extreme Z banner for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which of course means that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is getting an Extreme Z Awakening. It's crazy because yesterday in my stream, we were just talking about when 70% leads were getting their EZAs, and I was like, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit too soon. A lot of them are actually pretty decent still, especially like Super Vegito and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was decent too. So I was like, maybe they'll, you know, focus on some more obscure units first and then move into the 70% meta. But I was wrong. They're starting right now with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on March 12th. So, um, <laughs> I mean, get ready, guys. That's, that's going to be huge. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to be better and physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which uh, is madness, because Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the physical one, is still amazing, man. On Fusions, this man still hits for four to five, well, at least three to four million with a nice crit, maybe five million. So imagine, imagine how strong this kid's gonna be. I don't know what he's gonna do yet. Nobody really knows right now, but um, it's coming. Get ready, and uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited, guys. Now, I don't have him on JP, so it's a little bit less exciting, but I'm excited to find out what he does. And also, once he comes to Global, got him rainbowed there. But anyways, easy A for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and also his banner, which will include Kid Buu. I don't think many people are that excited for this, but I mean, the Kid Buu that is, but definitely, definitely hyped for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks right there. And uh, Goku and Friends event is returning, the Bio Broly event is returning, the Ghost Tanks event is returning, as well as it looks like the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Dokkan event is going to be available every day, I guess. Uh, return of the Dokkan event, the Unparalleled Paragon of Hope. Um, I'm pretty sure this event was always here, so I'm just guessing it means that it's going to be available every single day so that people can... Um, Awaken their tech go tanks or something. I don't really know. I, I don't know what that's all about but Anyways, okay, so that's gonna be a thing and the one after that is gonna be Bulma's battle prep And the one after that is the 29th world tournament on JP and it looks like to me that there's gonna be a New Goku black and maybe Yamcha or maybe Yamcha's just there because he's the local reward I'm not really sure is there gonna be a new Yamcha and Goku black at the very least it looks like there's gonna be a new Goku black as the reward and i mean people love their goku black so get hyped for that i guess and with the way that jp works everybody gets him if you're uh if you complete the missions right so that's really cool really really cool and two more uh return of the special event adventure of gratitude with the rock paper scissors goku and also the bunny mob event right there or rabbit mob my bad so that's it guys those are all the events the main things to focus on of course are Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, um, AGL, no, not this one. Well, there's also the AGL Kid Goku that awakens into an LR, and also a brand new Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, uh, possibly AGL, that's what I've heard, but could be different. That's coming tomorrow, and also New World Tournament, which is always a big thing. Now, as far as Global goes, we are also getting a new celebration, the spring something celebration or whatever, uh, that's dropping tonight. So if you guys are Global players, my Global players just wait a couple hours for that news to drop and I'll have a video for you as well very, very soon. But that's the new celebration for Global. I'm sorry, for JP, I'm, man, I'm getting so confused. This is for JP News and uh, it's a huge celebration, guys. 1500 days, there's also Saiyan Day that's coming up which I mean everybody's saying it's gonna be huge so I'm not sure what's going on there but it's probably gonna be a new celebration of sorts so I guess just stay tuned for that but anyways guys that's all I gotta report for the JP news today hope you guys found this video useful or at least interesting or something like that as always if you like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel if you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.